is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you a video recommended to you guys by Alex Valiot. Sorry if I said your name wrong, but it was a perfect suggestion and I thought, you know what, I've got to do this video. It's Fantasy Booking Alistair Black World Championship Run. Now, that could be either the WWE or Universal Championship. So for the sake of this storyline, I've gone with the Universal. Now, I know Alistair Black is on SmackDown Live, but, you know, WWE turned around and they say, the superstar shake-up. Um, and, yeah, so, obviously, the brand split doesn't exist anymore. So, um, after this new wild card rule, apparently it was meant to end at SummerSlam, but we still see it taking place on Raw and SmackDown. So, for the sake of this, I'm just going to go through... This being like on Raw, he's challenging for the Universal Championship. So, things are going to happen. Alistair Black is still going to continue to do we, like to do what he's doing. Uh, I really like what he's doing, having his little uh, segments on SmackDown, just saying, "Someone knock at the door, someone fight me." It's great. Um, so, yeah, I think what I'm going to book this to is this is going to go through until SummerSlam next year. Okay, it sounds bad. Uh, and it sounds like a long time, but SummerSlam next year, this time next year is when this is going to end. So, are you ready? Let's go. Alistair Black, he's doing what he's doing. He's having his segments every week. Every pay-per-view, he fights someone. Don't put Alistair on Raw or SmackDown. Not until after the Royal Rumble. So, Black's beating people left, right and centre. He's not losing. Alistair's not losing. He's going to be undefeated. He's going to be taking on guys like Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Cesaro, Rey Mysterio, all the mid-card guys you're used to seeing. Uh, he's going to beat champions. Say Ricochet or AJ Styles. He's going to fight them. He's going to beat them. But he's not going to take their championship. Alistair Black isn't interested in any championships other than the Universal. I know this is from WWE. Other than the Universal Championship. That's all he wants. That's all he's interested in. So... People are going to turn around, like, say, for example, Triple H will turn around to Alistair and go, you've pinned the US champion. Do you want a United States championship match? Like, you've earned it. And Alistair's just going to look at him and go, nope, I'm just here for a fight and here for world titles. I'm not interested in anything else. So that's going to happen um, all the way through until the Royal Rumble, when Black is going to come out as number one. Alistair Black is going to come out as number one in the Royal Rumble, uh, do it gets his whole magnificent entrance thing where he sits up and he's going to kick ass. He's going to survive all the way until the final six. So Black's going to be the Iron Man. Every Royal Rumble has an Iron Man. Finn Balor in 2018, for example. But Black's going to make it through to the final six before he gets eliminated by the eventual winner. I haven't decided who that's going to be. Now, I need to make this clear. My plan in my head, Roman, Strowman and Seth will all be feuding for the Universal Championship throughout this time period. Bearing in mind, from now till the Royal Rumble is not that long. Only five months, six months. So, that's going to happen. I think Seth and Roman should trade the belt. Also, Braun should get the belt. All three of these men should hold the belt at least once. Um, but, it's something different each time. Like You know what I mean? I don't want this feud to get boring. But, Raw is synonymous. I'm being realistic. Raw is synonymous for the boring feuds. So... That will probably get stale. Royal Rumble is going to come along. Um, at WrestleMania, it's going to be Roman versus Seth for the Universal Championship. One last blow-off match where Roman Reigns will beat Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Everyone's going to be like, what? Roman in the main event again? He's going to get booed. Yeah, he probably will. He probably will. But... Black has a great showing in the Royal Rumble. Then at the Elimination Chamber, it's for the WWE Championship. And Black is not in the match. So obviously, he's just going to be going back to doing his little things. He'll come up for the Royal Rumble, kick ass. Then he'll go back to his, like, you know, talking segments. And then finally, after WrestleMania, the night after WrestleMania, Alistair Black starts having weekly matches on Raw and SmackDown. Actually, you know what? I've just realised the superstar shakeups after WrestleMania. SmackDown will be on Fox. The draft will be a thing again. The brand split exists. Okay, scratch that. Black is being drafted to Raw in the superstar shakeup. And he's having weekly matches with people still undefeated. Actually, you know what? Not even weekly. Maybe fortnightly. Every other week, he'll be having matches with people still undefeated. As the Black will be undefeated for over a year at this point. 
And everyone's going to be thinking, you know, Black's been here for a while. He doesn't want a mid-card championship. When are WWE going to give him his shot? He's earned it. And that takes us through to SummerSlam. Now, Alistair Black being, like, new to the main roster, if that makes sense still. I know he competed on WrestleMania last year. But I think he still he should have, um, like, WrestleMania experience still. So that he doesn't take the title at WrestleMania. He takes it at, like, the second biggest pay-per-view. SummerSlam in WWE's books. We all know it's the Royal Rumble. SummerSlam's the third. But they think it's the second. So SummerSlam. And then finally, we get Roman Reigns versus Alistair Black at SummerSlam. For the Universal Championship, great match. Can you imagine the match these two will put on? You've got Roman Reigns, who's the big, you know, powerhouse. Loves the Superman, doing like Superman punches, spears, loves doing grapples. And then you've got Alistair Black, that's a, a proper kickboxer, a proper fighter. He'll be throwing elbows, knees, you name it. It will be a fantastic show. And it ends literally with a black mass. One, two, Kick out at two by Roman Reigns. I know I don't want Roman to look too strong. Bearing in mind, I'm not going to have anyone. I should have stated this earlier and I'm really sorry. No one kicks out the Black Mass. That moves the end of days. So, like, literally same level. No one's kicking out of the Black Mass, okay? No one. Until Roman does it. Roman kicks out of the Black Mass. And you're probably all going to start disliking. Wow, Joe's making Roman look strong. Bearing in mind, guys, I was a Roman hater this time last year as well. So, you know, don't at me. I know exactly how you feel, but I'm going to have Roman kick out of it just to build the suspense because everyone's thinking, wow, this move, no one's kicked out of it. When Roman kicks out, the fans are automatically going to think once again that Roman's winning. They'll think, oh, he's just kicked out the Black Mass. That's it. He's won. He's buried him. He's absolutely buried him. Roman Reigns has got the golden shovel and he's buried him. He's burying everyone again. Because apparently you lose one match and you're buried nowadays. Look at Buddy Murphy. Apparently Reigns buried him on SmackDown. No, Reigns made him on SmackDown. Uh, anyway, so Alistair Black will hit the Black Mass. The match will go on a little bit longer. Um, and bearing in mind, he'll do the Black Mass from the floor. So he'll do that thing where he lifts them up with his foot and then hits it standing. Um, the second Black Mass will be out of nowhere. Maybe Reigns can run for the spear. Alistair connects. And then one, two, three. New Universal Champion. Alistair Black. Just like that. Then Black can go on his streak where he destroys everyone. He's really underrated. A lot of you guys, just because he hasn't been showcased sing like really singles on weekly television. Since he came up, he was with Ricochet. Now he's just been put onto pay-per-view and like normal segments on tv alistair black is phenomenal look at some of his work in nxt there's a reason he was nxt champion for as long as he was and that's why i want him to hold the universal championship and it will be awesome i haven't decided on who ends his title reign so that's for you guys but that was my fantasy booking of an alistair black championship title reign well, world championship with the universal title. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you can book it better. And let me know who you think should beat him when he eventually wins the championship. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.